bleeders, also known as Hemoglobin from 1997, is a weird movie. I should just leave it at that and say review over, but let's dive in. First, we get some history. In 1652, the King of Holland, uh, which Holland didn't have a king in 1652, but that's okay. The king forbid marriage between aristocratic families due to a genetic blood condition that was weakening the bloodlines. One woman, Ava Van Dam, just had to get laid. Not only that, but it had to be her twin brother. Nasty. Because the king forbid this, the Van Dams packed up and moved to the New World where they were free to bang each other as often as they wanted. In modern day 1997, we meet our main characters, Kathleen Strauss and her sick husband, Edward Scissorhand, I, I mean John. They're looking for a cure for John's illness on this remote island where he is from. When arriving on the island, we see that a graveyard is being dug up. The villagers blame the cemetery owner, Bertie Gordon, for using subpar wood in the coffins. But maybe there's something else to blame. John has an episode, and the couple rush off to see the town's only doctor to get help. The doctor has the medicine John needs, and it does seem to help him out, even if temporarily. The doctor notices that John has two different color eyes, a trait typically passed down generation to generation. So which color you prefer? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like it here. We won't be here long. The doctor drops them off at the only hotel on the island, which is also owned by Bertie, and is the town's funeral parlor. Step on it, Hank! Alice, Bertie's daughter, is getting a corpse ready for a burial. She will be buried with a family necklace, which is worth a lot of money. Enough that Alice and her father could leave the island for good. Because the town's graveyard is being dug up, Bertie decides to bury her in the old Van Dam graveyard. Must be worth a fortune. Oh, aren't you the observant one? Of course it's worth a fortune. Fortune's gonna end up six feet under, doing nobody no good. You think John might be a Van Damme? Could be. Well, how can I get in touch with them? Kathleen learns about the Van Damme family. There was a fire 75 years ago that burned down their mansion and killed the entire family. The only person alive to have known the family is their nurse. So they set out to get some info from her. But first, Kathleen must tell the doctor something important. I'm pregnant. Your husband now? I'm really sorry, Mrs. Shea. I just need it for me. Later that night, Alice goes to the Van Dam graveyard to get the necklace. But she is attacked. Quite painfully, might I add, right in the shins. And she's drug underground. Bertie goes to dig up the necklace for herself, and she too gets taken. <laughs> At 
at the docks, something pops out of a box and runs right into the ocean, getting cut up by a boat propeller. Severe mutilation. The creature is taken to the doctor for an autopsy to find out what exactly it is. Here, the doctor learns that this creature is a hermaphrodite and is actually able to reproduce by itself. Seminal fluid present suggests a functioning hermaphrodite capable of having sex with itself. Huh. I need a drink. Big man a double. Come on now, boy. Come over here. John and Kathleen make it to the Van Dam mansion, and we learn from the old nurse that 75 years ago, the villagers burned down the mansion. But the Van Dans escaped into tunnels under the ground. This is where they lived for years, turning them into hideous creatures. But a baby was born that was normal. That baby was John. Creatures gave John to the nurse so he could try to have a normal life. Except for you. And well, Doc Peterson and I had to get you out of here. We had to send you away salvaged enough from that fire to set up the trust fund for you. Come on, guys! Some kids are playing in the graveyard, and a little girl gets sucked underground. <coughs> the doctor goes down to look for her, and he finds the bleeder's nest. They stab him, but he's able to escape, where he finds the bodies of several other villagers, and the little girl, who's being eaten alive. This movie is savage! The doctor escapes and he's able to tell the town what's happening beneath their feet. What's down there? They eat human flesh. Embalmed flesh. Because they dug up all the bodies in the cemetery, the bleeders don't have anything to eat. So, as the doctor puts it, They're desperate, they're mad, and they're very hungry. They're coming after us. I know what's wrong with you. I know how you can survive. How badly do you want to live? The doctor also knows how to cure John, but it's disgusting. He has to eat a fetus that has been soaking in formaldehyde. His wife is obviously grossed out by this, but she's so desperate that she'll let him try anything. After eating this thing, John is back 100%. All of the town has moved to the lighthouse, and the creatures attack in a very creepy moment where they come up from the ground.
Eventually, the bleeders make it to the door, but are unable to get in. So they go underground and attack from below. Kathleen tries to save some kids, but she is attacked by one of the creatures and drug away. John and the doctor go after her. The doctor tackles it and is able to save Kathleen, but then John stops everyone. No! The creatures listen to him because he is family, and John actually starts to eat the kid he's holding. In a heart-wrenching moment, Kathleen tries to get John to come home. Come with me and we'll go home. I am home. I don't know what to do. The next morning, Kathleen tells the doctor she is lost and doesn't know what to do. But then, she feels the baby move. And for some reason, she doesn't seem worried that this baby will be a flesh-eating monster. <laughs> the baby moved? Back in the tunnels, John is with his new family, and we learn that he has a twin sister, who can make love to herself, but I guess she prefers John. What the hell did we just watch? So basically, some perverted family turns into these monsters that needs to eat dead bodies to live. That's messed up. And just plain weird. Who thinks of this stuff? Even so, with a plot like that, the movie has some strengths. Kathleen is great. I'm more invested in her solving her husband's illness than anything else. There's a lot of boobs. And don't get me wrong, I'm not one to complain about boobs, but when you're 12 years old and watching this movie with your parents, and there's a three minute softcore porn scene, it gets a little awkward. The creature effects are practical and look pretty good. There are some creepy moments with the bleeders for sure. The doctor is a likable hero and the music isn't bad, but it's just a plain weird movie. I give it three out of four formaldehyde mason jars. I know it's not your color, but it's, it's the only one we've got. For Christ's sake, Alice, quit yakking at the stiffs.